What is up, everybody? This is Rad Tech Shoe, and I'm bringing you part five of my Devil May Cry 4 LP. So we've got a nice quick mission ahead of us. So I'm just gonna go ahead and buy myself a nice blue orb. Bam! Right there. We got three. Got we get three down. Three more to go on that mission on that power up menu. So let's just go ahead and start this mission with an opening cutscene. Alright, so these enemies are called Mephisto. Mephisto are, uh, are, they appear like ghosts, but they're actually more like bugs, to be perfectly honest. What you have to do is you have to get rid of their cloaks. Use uh, Nero's uh, Devil Bringer, his reach out, you know, his reach out and grapple, or his buster, just regular circle, and you'll destroy chunks of the cloaks, as you can see. And once all the cloak is gone, they fall to the ground, they're more like bugs or scorpions if anything, and they're vulnerable, they can't do anything until their cloak regenerates. While they're cloaked, they can actually circle around you, and then they extend their fingers like spears and try and skewer you. Uh, but the, it's pretty easy. That if they, give, they telegraph that attack from a mile away, you should have no problem dealing with these guys. They're pushovers. So, out here... We've got destroy every single thing that you pretty much can. There's a lot of hidden red orbs out here. Now, Nero has a new ability uh, that we got uh, when we picked up that, uh, uh, the Rasalka uh, corpse. Uh, what Nero now does is his arm will glow when he gets near a hidden item. When something is hidden, uh, his arm will glow when he gets near it. When he gets near a blue orb fragment, his arm will glow. When he gets near a secret mission, his arm will glow. So watch his arm right here. Right there. Look at his arm. You can even hear it. And down here is a secret mission. However, we don't have the necessary equipment to do it as of right yet, as of right now. So we're going to bypass it. We'll come back later. So, in here, we've got some more Bianco Angelos to deal with. Just deal with these guys, you know, uh, it, pretty much just like normal. And these guys are, are still no, still not a problem. Just make sure that uh, if you grapple one, that the other one is not getting ready to attack you. So, like I said, there's not much that else needs to be said about commentary, about the commentary when it comes to fighting these guys. They're pretty simple. We already know what to do with them. But once we defeat them, we're actually going to interact with... Uh, we're going to go to a second secret mission, and this one we actually will do. So, destroy this mirror up here. Nero's arm is glowing, as you can clearly see. So that means we're close to a secret, and indeed we are. Secret mission. Bam. This is secret mission 10. But for some reason, uh, secret. I think that I think when the game when they made a when this game was made, they mixed up ten and three, because we can't do three right now, but we can do ten right now. So I think they mixed them up by accident uh, when making this game. Anyway, the goal is to use these gyro blades to destroy five blue statues within the time limit. So as you could tell, we've already destroyed one. And this is where where Nero's speed will actually pay off a little bit for us. So here's another one. So, now all we have to do is get the other three and they're down this hallway. I'm just going to pick up this green orb as I, before I leave. But, there's three more down here and Nero's uh, speed will come in handy. Because it'll help us catch up a little bit. You know, little by little. So, 
All the way down there at the very end you can see one, and then there's one on the left and one on the right. So, three down, there's one to Nero's right and one to Nero's left right there, so we have to bring it back. Alright, good. Now we have to go, now first I'm gonna go left. And we have 30 seconds now, but like I said, because uh, this is actually easy. It's very easy to do. It's not that hard. I have never failed at it. And here is our reward, a nice blue orb fragment. So before we pick up the blue orb fragment, let's, dry, let's destroy everything over here, pick up some more red orbs. And then we will go ahead, grab the blue orb fragment, and end this secret mission. Excellent. Okay, so, like I said, I don't know why Secret Mission 10 was here, and uh, they expect I don't know why they thought we would need to come back to do this, but I think they I think they mixed up uh, the order in which they made the secret missions, or you know it could just be me, you know. But anyway, now there's nothing else of interest in this room. Head through the door. Now we're back up here above the torture chamber. Attack the wheel. Okay, so now a path has been created. Now we can use the gyro blade to destroy the pillar at the very end. So all we have to do is just knock it on down. If you fall down, don't worry, it's not the end of the world. You'll, you should be able to get back up here, no problem. But. I want you to pay attention to the cutscene, the little cinematic that triggers. Once we knock this down, wa watch what happens to Nero. For some reason, Nero falls down with the gyro blade, and you know, and I'm just like, that seemed kind of ridiculous. Why would Nero do that? I, I would expect us to jump down manually afterwards. Anyway, come on down here and look who it is. Let's take care of these guys just like before. No problems here. These guys are pretty easy. Like I said, I love the I love Nero's Devil Bringer when he can reach out and grab an enemy and pull him closer. It just makes fights so much easier and fun. You know, it's one of the reasons why I think Nero, in a way, steals the show from Dante. You know, I'm not taking anything away from Dante. He's an awesome character to play as in this game. And, you know, he has been pretty much in the whole franchise. And this game is no exception. Dante will get some cool new toys. But Nero, I think, uh, stands out in this game. Now that we have the winged talisman, we can actually ride these platforms all the way up back to the top. And we're going to head out and go back into the torture chamber. However, we have quite a few things to do in here. Alright, so. Jump on this one. And now, come on through here. Hidden red orb stash. On this level. On the next level. Up there, we have a holy water right there on the head of the statue. All right, come on over here. And right there in the distance, a red orb stone, a red orb stone. Smash it, break it. Do whatever you can. I was trying to do some aerial combos right there. All right. And right there, I kind of screwed up by accident. So all the way back down we go. Yeah, I'm so skilled. And right here, I'm trying to pan the camera around. Right here, Vital Star. Now that we have everything in this chamber, and I screwed up again, 
But at least I land, managed to land on the, on the most bottom one, if that counts for anything. Which I don't think it does, but whatever. Let's ride the platforms all the way back up to the top. And now we will find ourselves back in the torture chamber. Alright, now in here, we're going to fight some more enemies. Alright, so we are ambushed by some Scarecrows and some Mephistos will eventually come and join the fray as well. But for now, it's Scarecrows. So just deal with these guys however you see fit. You know. Don't forget to, you know, like I said, they're da they're most dangerous in numbers, obviously, and that's when they have the greatest chance to interrupt your combos. And here come the Mephistos, and right there, that one, I tried to counter by knocking all of them down, but I missed one. And there's the Mephisto attacking. Their, their fingers glow and they telegraph their attacks, you know, like I said, from a mile away, it's easy to read them. So once I'm going to deal with the Scarecrows first because they're the greater nuisance. The Mephisto would love to stand still and, you know, when you use your Devil Bringer on them to remove their cloak. It's just so, it, it, you know, it just makes it easier. Right there, Dodge's attack. Bam. Alright. You can actually kill these guys without removing their cloak if you want to shoot at them or attack them with your sword. However... Obviously, removing the cloak yields the best and quickest results. So, let's just go ahead, exit this room, and we're going to head out into the large semicircular hallway again. Alright, now we're greeted by some frosts. So... Let's let's exchange pleasantries and talk to them, and you know, discuss some things with them. Namely, how I would how they would like to die. So, for the most part, like I said, right now we're getting close to the end of the mission. This is a very short mission. Nice short. So, well, this is I love I love short missions. Missions like this that aren't a chore, that are fun, that and they're not long. Man, that's what that's what Devil May Cry. That's what I loved about the first game. I mean, remember mission, I think it was mission 5, where it was like over in less than 2 minutes. I mean, I mean, you don't, I mean, Devil May Cry 3 was a great game, but some of the missions, man, they just dragged on forever. So here's our third and final frost. So once we defeat this guy, we'll be able to proceed. But yeah, like, I mean, Devil May Cry 3 had some really long missions, man. I mean, I mean, god dang. But, you know, here the missions are a bit back, uh, are, uh, are a bit more reasonable in terms of length. Alright, so, now we're back in the Grand Hall. Alright, so now that this red platform is activated, we can use it. However, let's go ahead and break everything again. You know, a lot of, you know, it might seem unnecessary to get all these red orbs every time, but check, watch my rating at the end of this mission. You're gonna see uh, that even with the fact that I'm getting all these red orbs, that it doesn't may that I actually needed to. I definitely needed to. So, let's just go ahead, we're almost done, let's break all these chairs, get the last few benches, and then we can ride the platform. But what? Are we, but where are we going with this platform? Well, we're going up on top of the chandelier. So, His Holiness was hiding a few dirty secrets as well, so behind, 
let's take the secret passageway. Grab the vital star. Head through the door. And then all the way down at the end of the hall, we will trigger a cutscene and that will end the mission. You have awakened. Credo. My men are currently in pursuit of Dante. It is only a matter of time before his location is revealed. <sighs> he came to us. It was fortunate I was able to participate in the Ascension Ceremony. His Holiness! You look magnificent! You sent that cocky kid Nero to find Dante? You question my command? Yes! What shall be for me? Should he stumble upon my research facility? Our priority is to capture Dante. Why, you... Credo. Yes, Your Holiness. Gather everyone. I must... ease their minds on this matter. Of course. And that is the end of mission five. So nice short mission, under 10 minutes. You know, pretty simple, not too difficult. And even look at that. All those times, all those red orbs I just went to an effort to get, and I only had 65%. So, like I said, it's a good thing I did make that effort. Otherwise, I might not have gotten an A rank here. Had I gotten a C, I might have actually had my grade drop down to a B. You know, I didn't want to take that chance. So let's just go ahead, save our game. So right here, you know, I'm, you know, right there, I'm just looking at the complete times. Like that was mission three, this is mission four. So I'm like, okay, mission five, save right here. All right, and that is it. And I will see you all in the next mission. This is Rad Tech Shoe, signing off.